Today I've got a great project for you to involve your kids with. I call it the Frogarium, and it's a great habitat for the world's most photographed frog, the red-eyed tree frog. Isn't he beautiful? Now when you're building a Frogarium, you're going to need several things. You'll need uh, plants. You may need a pump to move some water around. You'll certainly need some rocks, potting soil, some filter floss, some sphagnum moss, but most important, you're going to need a suitable container. Now you can use an aquarium, and that'll work, but what I've got is called a lizard lounge. It's actually got vents on the side of it that allow air to go in and out of the tank, and it's got a tight-fitting cover that nobody can crawl out of, and our tree frogs would certainly try. But the lizard lounge typically comes with a heater that goes under the bottom of the tank and warms the soil that the lizards are on. What we want, though, is water several inches deep, and then in the foreground we'll have water, in the back we'll build a Costa Rican jungle that'll make our frog feel at home. Now in order to have open water and a platform with soil on it, I've purchased a sub-sand filter that fits the tank, and I've cut a section of it off. What we're going to do is place a couple of flat rocks of a given thickness inside the tank and put our platform on top of that. You want to be careful when you're doing this because this tank is glass. Now the sub-sand filter has holes in it specifically for air aeration in aquariums. We'll need to plug those up so that our potting soil doesn't fall through. And for that, I'm going to use filter floss. You can get it at any aquarium shop. It's kind of like cottony stuff and we'll just stuff those holes so that the potting soil can't fall through. Now an interesting option if you want to do it, and I'm going to, I'm going to build a little waterfall. I think that the sound of falling water in our terrarium is a good thing. So I'm going to put a hose through one of these and then stuff it with the filter floss, again to hold the potting soil in place. Our next step is to attach the pump. And gently lower it into place. With the platform inside, we're ready to build a small dam. We've got to keep the soil on the platform. So I'm going to build a little dam of rocks across the front. It serves not only to hide the filter, but it'll also contain the soil and keep it from falling into the water. Now any place that potting soil could fall through and get into the water, we need to seal up by stuffing it with filter floss. Now I've cut the hose to fit to make my waterfall. The next step is to begin adding potting soil. I'm going to put a small rock on that hose to keep it down. And that won't make any difference to the plants. To simulate our Costa Rican jungle, we need plants to tolerate a low light level and very, very high humidity. This is a type of philodendron, and it'll work really well in here. It tends to make long, twining vines, and we'll see why we want that in just a moment. We're going to place that inside, and then continue to fill potting soil around it. Once we have enough potting soil in there, the next thing to add is sphagnum moss. Now, the reason I do that is not just because it looks pretty, but because I don't want my frog to have muddy feet. Our next step is to take a nice looking piece of driftwood. We've got a couple of reasons for using it. One is it helps to hold the plant up and give a little height to our terrarium. The second is 
that tree frogs will lay their eggs on branches above open water. And if we're successful with having our tree frogs breed, which I'm hoping to do, we'll need a branch that overhangs the water. The next thing we need to do is fill it with water to the bottom of the rocks and plug it in, see if the waterfall works. Now the waterfall looks pretty good. And in fact, I think my little frog is going to find a nice pleasant home here in our frogarium. And this is a great way to bring a piece of the great outdoors into your new house. Today I've got a great project for you to try at home with the kids. I call it the Frogarium, and I got into it because my daughter got interested in having a red-eyed tree frog, the world's most open <laughs> 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 water in it. And this little guy lives happily inside it. But we've got to build it inside. <laughs> Today I've got a great project for you to try at home. I call it the Frogarium. It's a great habitat for a toad. I got into it because my daughter wanted the most photographed frog in the world. 